So I decided to start a little series since I got these fish. I have a male beta named Joel. Really blue, really pretty. And a little one named Chica. She's right there. Um, they're pretty simple pets. They're pretty resilient. But the one thing about betas is males can't be housed together, but female can. And female are smaller, so my plan is to get a big female tank and just have a couple of guys. We also have one more beta um, named Miller. There he is. He's pretty playful. And I have, about, I don't even know, probably six in this tank. Um, that's, uh, that is Flash. He's actually really fast. He, he flies around the tank. And that's Quicksilver, because Quicksilver used to be fast, but I think we heard him on the move. And then there's Thing of One and Two, the goldfish. And the, that orange one in the back is called Magma. Now, if you look super close, I don't know if I can get it right. You can kind of see there's like a little leopard fish in there. Like it's, it's very hard to see them, but they're called bottom feeders and they suck up algae. He's just laying in the back and you can kind of make them out if you, if you look deep, but so <laughs> it's really simple. Really? The best thing to do is feed them twice a day. That's what I do. And they stay pretty happy. And, um, to make sure not to like, like right now I have a lot of fish, but I'm planning to expand. There's another one that's a flat white one. There's a zebra somewhere in here. But, uh, yeah, I see it. Flash has been losing it the past few days. But there's this stuff. If you do just choose to get a beta, I, you should definitely use. <laughs> you just put a few drops in there and it helps the water stay pure. Those algae eaters eat these weird things and you got to make sure you clean up after them. And you got to make sure that at least once a week that you're changing 20% of their water. I just did that today and this tank has only been up for four days. That's why it doesn't look as clear as it should right now. Like, um, okay, maybe I can get them to zip out. I really don't like touching them. Here he goes. There he goes. So that is what a bottom feeder is. His name's Sarge. He's really fucking big and spiky. And he, he's not aggressive, but this little scale part on their tail comes out like a fish rib. And it's spiky. <laughs> you know, if you if they if you manage to touch them, they won't hurt you, but you'll definitely just feel weird about it. Got a good shot of that little fish. Yeah, I'm gonna try and just keep kind of a little thing to show how big this will get because eventually like I'm, I'm gonna replace this with a giant you know five six shelves full of 20 gallon tanks with a bunch of different kinds of fishes i'm planning to raise crawfish and betas and a bunch of them but i definitely recommend to get a aquarium because surprisingly they are not expensive so this is like 25 bucks and these are five dollars each and they're cheap animals, and they just look nice. Like, it's nice having a fish tank. So go out, save a fish. I don't know, man. I'm just a hippie. Right, I'm out.